Television City in Hollywood. This is the $25,000 Flat Earth Pyramid. Now you've already met the players and we have had our commercial break. Now let's get back to the action. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, Dick Clark. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, very, very much. Welcome back to the $25,000 Flat Earth Pyramid. And today we are looking back on the show in which we first became the Flat Earth Pyramid and the series of circumstances surrounding that. First, I want to read a poem I wrote in the form of a letter addressed to NASA from all of us here at CBS. Dear NASA, you're liars, you're scum, you're a national disgrace. Scuba diving and painting pictures and telling us that it's space, faking space, you losers, you pretend wannabe clowns. Soon, not a person alive won't want to see your circus shut down. If one of our answers is ever things NASA would say, I would give clues like, I'm a fraud. I go nowhere, and probably gay. So there you have it. Also, I have here a ticket for NASA to a personal ass kicking from me, Dick Clark. So that will be at will call. Just say you love balls when you come pick them up, and we'll know that it's you, NASA. Where were we? Yes, let's get back to our very tight and exciting episode. Beatrice, you have 17 points. Your opponent has 13 points. She only needs four to tie and five to win. Hey, you have a chance, albeit very little. Okay, Barry, you're going to be giving Eleanor. You will receive. Barry, I just got this note here. It appears your mother has passed away. You can worry about it after the show. Ah, 30 seconds on the clock. Your category is famous scientists. Okay. Ready? Go. He's the token black guy. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm -hmm. He's the one who looks gay. Oh, Brian mm -hmm. Cox. He's little and Asian and looks like a troll. Oh, oh, Macho Picchu. Shoot, I don't remember his name. Pass. He's the loser who married his first and second cousin and lied a lot. Um, the Jew. Albert Einstein. Okay. He's the loser who gave us heliocentricity. Nicholas Copernicus. Yes. He said he wanted nothing to do with gravity. Uh, Edwin Hubble, Galileo. Pass! He raped a few women. Neil Tyson, Bill Nye, Richard Dawkins. You see, it's a tie. We'll break the tie right after this. Hi, I'm Dick Clark. And like all of you, I want to know where I live. And that's why I use the Flat Earth Sun Moon and Zodiac Clock app. You should get it today. Try out the new profiles in the Friend Finder. Learn how seasons work and answers to your other questions. Check the new featured video daily or watch any from the past. The Flat Earth Sun Moon and Zodiac Clock app. Are you a blue dot? Tiebreaker time, Barry. Fastest to seven. Describe these words that start with the letter J. Okay. Ready? Go. 9-11 was a... Hoax. No. Was an inside... Job. Yes. Probably orchestrated by the... Jews. Yes. Fake insurrection. Jihad. No. The month? Blank six. Oh, January. Yes. Don't you ever even think of taking the... Jab. Yes. Never leave your children near sleepy. Jews. No. The president sleepy. Joe. Yes. Planes in the South appear to not be using the... Jet stream. Yes. Our government is a... Joke. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Seven and 28 seconds. Put 28 seconds on the clock. Beatrice, you need all seven in less than 28 seconds to go on. What, Sam? I beg your pardon. Oh, RV Truth doesn't allow 28s. We will make it 27. Ready, ladies? Describe these false flag attacks. Ready, go. January 6th was the... Insurrection! Yeah. You bombed this December 7th, 1941. Pearl Harbor! Yes. This started World War One. The Lusitania! Uh -huh. This made Larry Silverstein 9 rich. Yeah. You should sink ships near the harbor. The Spanish-American War! No. Then conduct a funeral. Panama the invasion! victims. Gulf of Tonkin! No. It was vetoed by JFK. No! You should sink Afghanistan. ships near the harbor. Desert Storm! No! Ah! You're here. You made it. Aren't you pleased? Wow. Huh. Your shoulders are something else. Now just relax. Pretend it is me and you and Barry. Candlelight. Grape Swisher Blunt. Now go win that 25 grand. Here's your first subject. Ready? Go. A Nigerian prince. Nathan Oakley. Um, scammers. Good. Gas planets. Pretend things. A reliable Things medium. that are nonsense. COVID-19. Things that don't exist. Good. Mm. 
I wonder what man's name I should tattoo on my arm tomorrow. Things Cy Mandan would say. Yes. The globe. NASA. Heliocentricity. Things that are very gay. Yay. Evolution. Dinosaurs. Things science made up. Space. Things that are fake. Yep. Hmm. The ocean. The earth. Things that are level. Mm-hmm. Ah, man. What did I say? That's no, no, the right. judges have ended that for some reason. Barry, I will have a conversation with the judges and find out why we couldn't accept that clue. Shit happens, Barry, you're going to get over it or answer to me. We will be right back. Barry, so help me if you don't accept the judge's decision. I will rain down on you with blows and lift you into a vertical... My baloney has a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. My baloney has a second name. It's M-A-Y-E-R. Oh, I love to eat it every day. And if you ask me why, I'll say. Cause Oscar Mayer has a way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A. Oscar Mayer, the first name in Bologna. How's that? Okay, we are back. I just spoke with the judges who made a decision. Was it correct? Well, Barry, you gave two clues, the ocean and the earth, and we were looking for things that are level. And at first you were buzzed because the judges were afraid she'd get it and cause us liability for leaking info. I reminded them that it was contestants saying it, and we were not responsible, and so we learned two things. The earth is level, flat, and stationary, and you won $25,000. Congrats, well done, and thanks for revealing the truth. And because of you, starting with our next show, we will rename it the $25,000 Flat Earth Pyramid. If you don't like it, why don't you suck on these big old dick clarks?